Victorian era fashion. Have you ever watched a British period movie and wished that you lived in the Victorian era so you could have worn those fashionable and colourful skirts with corsets or crinoline as people called them underneath them? Maybe you often daydream about walking around the streets of 1850 London in a frock coat with a long top hat, always carrying a cloth that you can slide out from your coat so you can help a damsel in distress cross a puddle. Compared to the fashion trends we have today, the Victorian era fashion seems more ostentatious and glamorous. In this video, we're going to talk about some fashion trends that were popular during the Victorian era. But before we dive in, make sure you wake up from your daydream and hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment telling us which fashion item you would like most from the Victorian era. Here are 10 fashion items that were popular in the 19th century. Number 1. Tightly laced corsets. These were popular in the very beginning of Queen Victoria's reign, the 1830s. During those days, women considered it fashionable to have a thin torso or wide hips, so they wore corsets that were tightly fitted over the abdomen and the hips. This helped them get the ideal shape that we see now in movies and cartoons. These tight corsets were accompanied by long skirts that had petticoats made of horsehair underneath them. Number 2. Hoop skirts. These are also called crinolines, cages or cage crinolines. Hoop skirts came into fashion in the 1850s and they quickly replaced heavy petticoats. With the introduction of hoop skirts, women started wearing longer bell-shaped sleeves, which made their dresses even heavier than before. These skirts were popular among rich and poor alike, but wealthy people usually wore 20 to 40 hoops to avoid getting any creases on the skirts. Crinolines made it possible for women to sport these dome-shaped skirts that are associated with Victorian-era fashion. In the 1850s, it was also fashionable for women to wear dresses with a very low neckline, which led to them covering their chest area with a chemiset. Number 3. Rear pads or bustles. These were the fashion in the 1860s. Bustles were used to stretch the skirt below the waist. It gave the look of an enlarged posterior or wide hips. Bustles were mostly crescent-shaped and they were made of horsehair. They quickly replaced the crinolines and the width of the skirts was decreased. However, the length of the skirts increased in the back. Bustles remained in fashion for 30 years, during which they were worn not just at fancy parties, but also during the day. They eventually went out of fashion in the 1890s. Number 4. Bertha Necklines Bertha was a low-shoulder neckline that exposed the wearer's shoulders. This was mostly popular among the upper-class people. Working-class women who exposed too much skin were often looked down upon. Number 5. Top Hats What would be a video about Victorian-era fashion without the famous top hats? Hats and gloves were considered the most essential part of one's attire in the Victorian era. To go out without a hat was inconceivable. People started wearing top hats in the late 1700s and they became the norm during the Victorian era. The top hats of the 1840s and the 1850s had very high crowns and narrow brims. These hats weren't just a fashion symbol. They were the perfect representation of the industrial era. It would be impossible for us to list all the different variations of the top hat in one video, but there are two that are worth mentioning. Number 6. Stovepipe top hats and opera top hats. Stovepipe hats were popular in the 1800s to the 1850s. They were also worn by the American president Abraham Lincoln. The hat was mostly known for having straight sides. The opera hat was made of black silk satin. Developed in the 19th century, it had a unique feature. It could be collapsed. It was often worn by people who frequented opera houses and it also saved space in overcrowded rooms. People at opera houses would crush their opera hats and place them under their chairs. The sound that these hats made when they were crushed gave them another name, clack, which is French for slap. Number 7. Poke Bonnets These hats were worn by women in the early years of the Victorian era. These were characterised by high, small crowns and large brims. They remained in fashion until the end of the Victorian era. Poke bonnets with wide brims were often decorated with exotic plumes, ribbons and silk flowers. These hats were designed in a way that made it impossible for the face of the wearer to be seen from anywhere except the front. 
Number eight, bowler hats. These hats were worn by the working class people in the 1850s. The bowler hat had a dome-shaped crown and a narrow brim with curved sides. Named after the London hat makers Thomas and William Bowler, the hat was made in 1849. It was also worn by the famous comedian Charlie Chaplin. Number nine, narrow skirts. In the late 1870s, women wore curious bodice beneath their skirts, which stretched to their hips and upper thighs. As a result, skirts became narrower, which made it difficult for women to walk properly. The curious bodice was like a corset, but was longer. Number 10, high necklines and short sleeves. In the 1890s, women started wearing dresses with high necklines and skirts that were bell-shaped. Skirts remained tight around the hip area and sleeves ended at the shoulders, though they increased in length a little in the mid-1890s. The sleeves, though short, were large and thus required cushions to keep them in place. By the end of the 1890s, they had become narrow and didn't need cushions anymore. The fashion adopted at the end of the 19th century helped women become more confident and it also improved their posture. Which Victorian fashion item did you find the most interesting? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to share this video with your friends so you can have a Victorian era themed party with them.